one of the things we learned is that you do not make a factory um, for a turbine like this. You, it takes years before you get to a capacity of the turbines, right? Six this year, 100 next year, 500 the next year. Now, you know, 500, maybe you could think about a factory, but Barbados wants to make our turbines there. And New Zealand wants to make our turbines there. And Scotland wants to make our turbines there. And countries like Brazil and Mexico have local content requirements. So the idea is there are every country in the world practically has the capacity to make at least 60% of our turbine product. Other things like drive shafts, uh, much more complicated. Um, things like um, power converters, much more complicated. Uh, power uh, permanent magnet generators, we're getting those out of Italy. Our blades are out of uh, step G out of Germany. So the, the way the blade works, it's an extrusion blade. It extrudes every 13 meters, 40 feet. You cut it, you bring another one on, it's just continuous. And if you need a thousand turbine blades, you just run it until you have all thousand turbine blades. You put them in uh, land sea containers because they're designed to fit within a land sea container and you ship it to Barbados and you ship it to New Zealand. And there they take the blades and they assemble it in local assembly facilities. So we have this benefit of being able to have multiple suppliers for every one of our parts. And uh, many of the simple parts like the tower and the, uh, the rotor um, and those steel plates you saw in the patent, those all can be made locally around the world, which gives us a political benefit for local manufacturing. So we are happy not to have to be reliant on any one supplier.